Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. Today we're going to talk about some command hook hacks. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is wipe your surface clean where you want your command hook to go. Once this is complete, you're going to let that surface area dry completely. Now it's important to pick the right kind of command hook for the weight of the item you're trying to hold. So once you've picked the weight out that you need, you're going to notice there is a wall side and a command side. You're going to start by peeling the command side off, placing it on the back of the command hook, and then next you're going to peel off the wall side and place that side against the wall. You're going to push firmly for 30 seconds and then Wait an hour until it's time to hang an item on the command hook. Now, each command hook is different and unique, so make sure to check the package instructions first before moving on. Next, we're going to talk about removing the command hook. So push up on the hook itself, remove the front part. You'll be left with just the wall unit. Pull the tab on the bottom straight down, and you'll remove the hook. Now let's just show you a few ways that I use them in my home. And we're gonna start with my mantle. And I'm gonna be using a clear hook for this step because I don't want it to be obtrusive. I'm gonna place one of these hooks on one side of the mantle and then I'm going to place it on the other side as well. Now I like string lights all year round. So I'm gonna place my string lights onto my mantle and carefully place it around my candle holders and my decor. Now this is the key. I don't want any of this stuff to fall off and crash and break. So by using command hooks, I can hold these string lights in place easily. I place the string lights behind the hook on one side and then I do the same thing on the other side as well. Now it just so happens to be my son's birthday. So I'm gonna hook a banner on one side with the one hook and then the other side on the other hook. And now I can hang this banner up for my son's birthday. And you can do this with any holiday sign, garland and more. Now let's talk about artwork and you have a blank wall, but depending upon where you live, you may not wanna put nails in or maybe you're renting. So use a command hook, place the command hook on your wall space and then add any of the decor that you want. Here's an example of a wreath I made and you can find that tutorial over on my blog and YouTube channel as well. In addition to that, you can also hang up plenty of other artwork with this simple, simple idea. Now I'm gonna take you into my laundry room and sometimes you run out of space. So one easy idea is to open your cabinet and use the underutilized space on the back of the cabinet door. I hung a command hook on the back of my door and I placed my squeegee on it. The great thing about this is the squeegee was kind of awkward and now I can easily find it and it doesn't take up any extra random space in my cabinet. Now with this same idea, we're gonna move into my kitchen and I'm gonna use these command hooks on the back of my cabinet door underneath my kitchen sink. Once I had the command hooks added, I hung my scrub brush and one of my sink drains on the back of the door. Now this makes it super easy to grab and find and it doesn't take up space in my sink. Now, if you're short on space in your kitchen, let's talk about our backsplash. I'm simply adding four command hooks to my backsplash, which can be removed easily down the road if I don't wanna keep them here. With this one simple idea, I can easily hang all of my kitchen utensils and they don't take up space in a drawer, therefore freeing that drawer space up for something else. Another idea is to hang up my measuring cups. And you can keep going with this idea, measuring spoons and all kinds of items that you can get out of your drawers and onto your backsplash. You can also save your cabinet space by using command hooks for your mugs. Simply place a command hook on a cabinet side or on a wall and then place them vertically or side by side. The choice is yours and then you'll just place the mugs onto the hooks. I also don't like messy wires, whether they're on my desk or lamp wires hanging down. So I buy these command cable holders and all I did was place the cable holder onto my window seal, and then I placed all of the cables inside of it and hooked them together. Now those lead to a nice clean space underneath my desk instead of a bunch of cords hanging down. 
Use a command hook for needful things, but things you need to hide. I placed this command hook behind our refrigerator, and then I placed our fly swatter on it. This hangs behind our refrigerator, so it's hidden, but easily accessible. Now, my kid's bathroom does not have any drawer space, which super stinks. So one of the things we worked on together was we opened the cabinet door and utilized the back of that cabinet door space again. My daughter placed her command hooks on, and then we placed these dollar store baskets onto the command hooks. Then what we did was place needful things inside the baskets, like hairbrushes, face wipes, and other needed things. And now we just close it up. Now we're gonna utilize the space behind the door. And I placed some command hooks up against the wall. I measured them out and made them all about equal. This space happens to be for my daughter and I'm taking all of her hats and we're hanging them on these hooks. And as you can see, a fedora works well with the same. So many styles and shapes of hats can work with this simple concept. And all I do is take all of her hats and I place them on the wall. They store well behind the door and they don't take up space in other areas of her closet. Now our bedroom did not come with a doorway between our bedroom and our bathroom, so I made this command hook and curtain doorway myself, but I don't like how it takes up half the space and I can't get through it. So I took one of those command hook cable holders and stuck it on the wall, and now I can tuck the curtain inside of it to keep it out of the way when we're not using it, and this keeps the doorway more open. Now this is the doorway that leads to our closet and we're gonna be talking about the back side of the closet door inside my closet. Now I needed heavy duty command hooks for this project and I placed them on either side of the closet door and I can place a tension rod. Now this works great if you need curtains for somewhere. For example, we have a room with French doors and I was able to make the same thing happen and build curtains to cover those French windows for privacy. But now what I'm going to do with this inside my closet is I'm going to add my purses and bags. It's a very easy concept and it displays them nicely, keeps them nice and neat, and keeps them out of the way and keeps my shelves free. And I hope this inspires you to try some command hook hacks of your own. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog at chasscrazycreations.com. You'll find a lot more hacks where that came from. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out my next video.